Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel where I do commentaries, vlogs, and much, much more. Today I'm going to be doing a mukbang! Today I'm going to be eating Mexican food. Lily! My cat! Lily, no! I don't know. Anyways, today I'm going to be eating Mexican food. I'm going to be eating a torta, steak taco, rice, and refried beans and i also have a quesadilla back there it's like huge it's like bigger than my head my cat in the background <laughs> so usually when people do mukbangs they either like talk about updates in their channel or just talk about life or whatever today i'm going to talk about weight gain okay i also want to talk about it in like kind of like a body positive way because one thing is y'all no matter how much weight I gain, I know and it just, I just feel like I'm beautiful and I feel like weight has nothing to do with beauty. It's it's definitely how you carry yourself and how you feel about yourself. Tacos are my favorite thing to eat. I'm going to start with the rice and I also have orachata. Mm -mm -mm. Just a disclaimer, if you guys hear me smacking on my food, um, that's what's going to happen. One thing that I kind of wanted to tell you guys is the exact amount of weight that I um, gained during this quarantine. I gained a total of 33 pounds. So the reason why it's actually totally normal for someone like me to gain that much weight in a short period of time, probably like five, six months, is because I eat a lot. <laughs> but I'm also a very, very active person. And when quarantine started, um, you know, you're just inside all the time. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Dang, these tacos are good. Before quarantine began, I used to work as a teacher in a preschool. And if you guys don't know anything about teaching in a preschool, you're always running back and forth, back and forth. And you were actually not even allowed to sit down because kind of like my bosses used to think like, oh, if you sit down, if you relax, that's like really lazy which is something that I actually don't like about being a preschool teacher, but I digress because it always kept me active. I'm gonna mix up my rice and my refried beans. I used to wake up and then do yoga before work. And then during work, I used to run around like crazy after those kids. And then during my lunch break, we had a gym right next to us, which also had a pool. So I went swimming for 45 minutes on my lunch break. And then after work, and this is like almost every single day, I used to work out. So like I'll do like the treadmill, the elliptical, or lift weights, like weight training and things like that. So cardio and strength training after work. It was a lot. I was very, very active. Even on the weekends, I wouldn't just be a couch potato. Like I would go out to the city, go out with my friends, go dancing, things like that, be social. I was always doing something so I was a very active person and now that we're in quarantine I'm not but now that I think about it back then I used to eat a lot like I want to say at least 3,000 to 4,000 calories I'm so hungry I haven't ate since 6 o'clock this morning and it's I think about 2 30 right now I'm gonna finish this last bite but I don't want y'all to watch me. <laughs> I bought an horchata to wash everything down. I poured half of this in a cup for my boyfriend, so I'm only drinking half of it. So, But it's as big as my head. I usually drink the whole thing, not gonna lie. I'm pretty much done with the taco. I'm actually getting full already off of one taco because I ate it so dang fast. So the other reason why I gained weight in quarantine so fast is not only because I'm not as active anymore. I didn't change my eating habits after. I kind of just kept eating like those thousands of thousands of calories and I got bigger. For those of you who don't know what binge eating disorder is, um... It's not like anorexia or bulimia or any of the other eating disorders because it's not based off of body image. 
obviously I have high self-esteem and a lot of confidence and I truly do believe that I'm beautiful like I said beauty is not in how much you weigh beauty is not body image beauty is within in my opinion binge eating disorder is actually an eating disorder that is coupled with other type of disorders like anxiety or depression now I've never had depression. Very lucky that I have never had depression in my life. But I have had anxiety in my life. I used to work full time, like 50, 60 hours a week because I used to work full time as a teacher in a preschool, but I also used to do nannying on the side. Then I also used to be full time in school as well, like a full time college student. And being full time at work and full time in school was extremely stressful anxiety like kind of got the best of me and I used to like emotionally eat all of the time and that is exactly what binge eating disorder is it's when you don't have a healthy pathway for your emotions your anxiety your stress and then instead of dealing it dealing with your emotions and your anxiety and your stress in a healthy way you actually just succumb to eating and binge eating <laughs> I might have to reapply my lip gloss later I absolutely love indulging in tortas and tacos, quesadillas, all that kind of stuff. But when I actually do start dieting and exercising again in order to get healthier and shed some pounds, I'm not going to be eating this type of food. So this is just some, just some celebratory food, some food before I actually start eating healthy in a video just to kind of talk about how I gained weight in the first place. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wish they put like spicier hot sauce on this torta. Kind of like seems plain. <laughs> the reason why I started a YouTube in the first place was not only because it's my hobby, it's something that I genuinely like to do, but also it's because I want something to look back on and I want something to track my growth. And I also want to inspire people that are in the same boat as I am to know that you can get better and you can heal. So that is why I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel. It's going to be, I think I'm going to name it Fitness Fridays, but I'm not sure what it's going to be named. I'm going to be doing like fitness vlogs, meal prepping vlogs, and mental health-esque type of vlogs. Mm -mm -mm. You guys ever do a happy dance when you're like, really hungry and you just finally get the meal that you wanted i think i'm done with this torta i don't think i'm gonna finish it it's just not as good it's not like juicy it's like kind of dry i don't like that if i'm gonna eat something it's gonna be tasting good <laughs> okay so the next thing that i'm gonna eat is this big old quesadilla it's like so big <laughs> it's like really big it's like the it's like a huge taco, but it's not a taco. It's a quesadilla. It has lettuce, sour cream, steak, cheese. I think it has even a little bit of refried beans in the bottom. And of course, hot sauce. And it has avocado in it. I did a little bit of research before I decided to do um, these dieting episodes. And I learned that if you are, if you do have binge eating disorder and you do want to lose weight, you're actually not supposed to restrict your eating or your calories because for some reason, um, psychologically for people that do have that kind of like sort of problem, um, it makes it worse. <laughs> so dieting is actually not the answer and what they actually call it is intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is going to be especially challenging. You basically just eat when you're hungry only number one and number two you eat what you're craving so if i'm craving broccoli that's what i eat if i'm craving a cookie that's what i eat my fitness journey is not gonna only be about like intuitive eating and getting fit and exercising again but also self-care journaling and meditating things like that that things that are going to help me manage my stress and anxiety more I think I'm done with this too. I don't think I can eat it all. It's just too big. Not only that, but like the bottom tastes better than the top. <laughs> How about like two or three more bites? I wonder why people watch mukbangs. Like, 
Is it really like that interesting to watch people eat? <laughs> I really like the avocado in here, but otherwise, I feel like just spitting it out. Okay, this is the last bite. <laughs> Why didn't I bring napkins? Okay guys, so I hope that you guys like my little Mexican mukbang. I really hope that you guys come back for more. Um, not more mukbangs, <laughs> but more fitness and food related um, content. I'm going to be starting my fitness series next week. And there I will tell you guys my starting weight, what I'm going to even do, and my fitness routines, like my workouts and everything like that. So thanks guys. Bye.